I'm sorry, I haven't had a shave, but and I've just been smoking a rolly, so it mightn't taste that great, but it will save your life. OK, here goes. <gasps> Yes. Do you need a hand? No. Are you going to be doing any DIY? Because, strictly speaking, that should be my responsibility. I am sitting here as lifeguard. You're a lifeguard? Yes. To make people feel safe. Cool. Do you think I could have a go? I did that thing at school where you had to swim under water and pick up a rubber brick in your pyjamas, but I didn't get my certificate because I got caught peeing in the pool. How could they tell? I was standing on the diving board. Liam. Go away. Thank you. Aye, aye. Spanish chorizo at two o'clock. It's quite greasy, that, isn't it? Doesn't bother me. You sure you can have that on the Atkins? Oh, yeah. Three portions a day. And you wouldn't have a vegetable with it? Nah. You'd have to watch. What? <laughs> oh, you're not still lust enough to him, are you? I told you, he's married with kids. Have you never heard of a holiday romance? He's not on holiday, is he? No, but I am. And I intend to get a bit of mouth-to-mouth -mouth off Mr Hazemoff over there. Well, I'm just advising you against it, Trudy, that's all. Thanks. But if I'd wanted a conscience, I'd have come on holiday with Jiminy Cricket. OK, fine, it's no skin off my minge, but if he had been interested in you, he'd have tried it on by now. Oh, yeah? Help! 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 Oh, oh, oh. oh. Joyce Temple Savage here, a staff announcement. Mateo is suddenly drowning in the pool! What? Oh, my ladder, please. Just... Help! 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 friend's drowning. Oh, dear, what a shame. Why aren't you going to dive in and help her? Just put a load of fake tan on. But I would... I left my pyjamas at home. Help! Not the glasses. Help! I made you safe. Oh, sir. Come on. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Oh, come on. Help us. Ow. We need to keep her alive till she gets in the ambulance. Mateo, do your CPR. This is no time to make impressions. The, the quick. I don't know what to do. I think you're meant to straddle her. Oh, I don't think that's right, is it? Oh, she's saying yes. Look, she's saying yes. Unbelievable. Right, give her the kiss of life. I don't know what this is. What is it? Right, lean her head back, open her mouth and breathe. Wait! Wait! I'm sorry, I haven't had a shave, but, and I've just been smoking a rolly, so it mightn't taste that great, but it will save your life. OK? Here goes. <gasps> One gin and tonic very dry. Which is more than can be said for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you enjoyed our little reenactment of the battle between the Moors and Christians. So that wasn't you having a fight with a large gay man who wanted to kill you? Gracious, no, 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 no. That's Kenneth, our beauty salon stylist. He likes to help out, you know. I take it that's you telling me we scored extra points for realism. <laughs> Hello. British newspaper going back in, if anyone's interested. Excuse me, would you mind leaving? Well, I was just asking... Uh, Leslie, security. I'm sorry, Pet. I'm afraid I'm going to have to escort you outside. What have I done wrong? It's only a newspaper. 
I'm sorry about that. Unfortunately, we have a lot of holiday makers here at the moment. Yes, I had noticed. Would you like another drink? I haven't had this one yet. Well, I'll have another one anyway. Completely gratis. <laughs> Matteo, another drink for Mrs Simmons and a bowl of nibbles, if you please. Three months free rent. Forget it. Have you seen what you've done to me? I'm taking legal advice. Three months free rent. Two new front teeth for my Swedish dentist in Alfaz. An unlimited use of the fax machine in reception. Unlimited use of the fax machine? Who am I going to fax? I don't know anybody living in 1987. Six months free rent. Two new teeth from the Swedish chef in Alfaz. And 500 euros cash. No way. Absolutely no way. Think about it, Joyce. How much do you want that port star? And how good would it look if you get it after being here for only one week? Four months free rent, two new teeth, a hundred euros cash. My final offer. Done. You can book Mrs. Lardy Darling for this afternoon. I'm going outside for a fag. I want a taxi there in five minutes to take me to Alfaz. I'm going to see a man about some teeth. <laughs> go to the water park. My treat. Your treat? Haven't you treated us all enough? Look, the whole point of being here is to get away from our problems. Yeah, we've got a lot to deal with when we get home, but we're not there yet. We've still got another day in the sun, so we may as well enjoy it. How can we enjoy anything when you've left all our lives in tatters? Cos it's our choice. It's up to us. Don't you understand? What happens tomorrow and after that will still be the same, whether we enjoy ourselves today or just sit here miserable? No, I don't understand. Why is he talking in riddles? He's just trying to wriggle out of what he's done. I'm not trying to wriggle out of anything. I've messed up. I've messed up big time, bigger than anything else before, and I've said I'm sorry till I'm blue in the face. Well, sometimes sorry just isn't good enough. Oh, so what do you suggest I do then? Kill myself? Wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Michael, come here. Why would you want my dad to kill himself? Why would you say that? Michael, come and sit here. I don't want to sit there. Answer me, Nana. Would you really want my dad to kill himself? It was his idea. Do you think before you say things? Don't you talk to me like that, young man, or I'll tan your backside for you. No, you won't. You'll just sit there tanning yourself, being nasty to the people who love you and look after you. Look after me? That's a joke. No, you're the joke. My dad says you say nasty things because you're old. Like, that's an excuse. I've worked it out. You say nasty things because you are nasty. Simple as that. Mick. Get hold of him, bring him here, I'll cripple him. Is that before or after he kills himself? Come in. Please take a seat. Oh, have we come at a bad time? What do you mean? Well, all the mess. What mess? Oh! <laughs> right. Shall we get straight down to business? Good idea. Oh, yes. Do you want to start with Donald? And I'll join in when I see an opening. No, no. I'd like to involve you both from the off, if you're amenable. Absolutely. May as well grasp the nettle with both hands. The fact is, since I arrived here, I've had nothing but bad publicity, from the local press to the internet forums. Articles such as these have been impairing my plan to turn the complex around. The point is, I am being deliberately undermined, and I am determined to crack down on the culprit with all my might. Do you think this is a role play? I'm not sure. As you'll see from the cuttings, the citizen seems very well informed about our misfortune, and they all quote a Solana insider as being the source. Uh, you think you have them all? Exactly. And I want you to help me smoke them all out. Oh, I want you smoke. They do laser removal nowadays. I've had a flick through the personnel files and I've come up with these suspects. 
Mateo Castellanos. Works mainly in the bo well, I say works. He's typically Spanish. If it isn't siesta or fiesta, he's not interested. We're familiar with him from previous visits. Nasty piece of work. Les Conroy, a.k.a. Leslie. Possibly in league with his son, Liam. Go on. Kenneth Dubeck. Runs a Solana salon, now unfortunately known as Blow and Go. We've clashed from day one, and I suspect it's personal with him. I normally get on with the gays. Well, it's more or less compulsory on the airlines. But he seems immune to my many charms. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. Which, needless to say, wouldn't be very far. Is she ever going to take her clothes off? Oh, I'm losing the will to live. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to gather intelligence on the four of them, shouldn't take long in his case, and help me to finger the mole once and for all. We don't really approve of using animals. Ever since that incident with Big Donna's guinea pig and the cling film. I'll handle this, Jacqueline, thank you. I can tell you now, we're not interested. Kenneth is a close personal friend of ours, and if you think we're about to go snooping around... I can offer you a free week's holiday next year, plus 200 euros spending money. We're in. She's coming. Listen, we're going to play a little trick on her. Just go along with whatever I say, all right? Oh, I don't know, Trudy. It seems a bit cruel. How dare you do that to my friend? What? You know full well what, you little toe rag. Well, you can get yourself down to the shops and get one. Do you hear me? What's going on? Tell her. I... No, I don't want to. Tell her what you did last night. No, you tell her. All right. He slept with you without protection. What? I've told him he is a dirty little scumbag. No, I never. What? You never needed it. Typical man. Wham, bam, wipe it on the curtains and then leave it to the woman to pick up all the pieces. Is this true, Liam? You've got Venetian blinds. Oh, God. I don't remember any of this. I need to sit down. I've told him to get his arse down the chemist and pick you up a pregnancy test. They don't show up this early. Do they? The Spanish ones do. They're extra sensitive. Go ahead, soft lad. What are you waiting for? This is a joke, isn't it? Are you kidding? It's the best laugh I've had all holiday. Only it, it seems a bit mean. To... Oh, how dare you? No, I will not pretend it is all a joke. Doris! Doris! Open this door now! Do you hear me? Open this door! What in God's name do you think you're doing? I might very well say the same to you. What have you done to my salon? I'm not discussing it here. Oh, no, you don't, lady. We'll sort this out here and now. Oh, my God, when did this happen? When did what happen? When were you burgled? Um, last night. Oh, Jesus. I better go and check my apartment. I'll see you downstairs. That bad. Now, as you know, today, finally, we have our hotel star rating assessment. That fourth star is so close, I can practically taste it. You're going to give us a heads up, like, when the assessor arrives. You know, just so we make sure he's looked after. The assessor is already here. She arrived yesterday morning. And thankfully, I'm not as stupid as you all look. I have personally put her in the penthouse suite on the 21st floor. Didn't know we had a penthouse oh, suite. Didn't know we had a 21st floor. She's been enjoying complimentary room service ever since she arrived, but there is no way she can award us our four stars without checking all the facilities. Maybe I can give her some room service. I don't mind her checking my facilities. Mrs Simmons is a very sophisticated woman. I want you going absolutely nowhere near her. Leslie, I'm appointing you to look after her. Neighbour. And if any of the guests approach her, I want them removed from the building. Right, I'm meeting her by the pool in ten minutes. Class dismissed. <laughs> Temple Savage, you b I have just spent the last 15 minutes with two cleaners trying to get into my room. Your belongings have all been packed away and are in plastic bags in the storeroom. Don't make a scene, Mr Dubeck. I don't wish to involve the police. The police? I'm a couple of weeks late with me rent not drowning holidaymakers in the pool, you big drama queen. Mr Dubeck, 
Please lower your voice. We have a hotel assessor in the building, and I do not wish to have a full-on catfight in the middle of reception. Don't you? Well, I bloody well do. Ah! 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 Summer oh. holiday, doing things they always wanted to do. So oh, Kenneth, what are you doing? I think he's upset about something. You make me all bad. Kenneth, he has, how do you say, lost his plot. He's lost his bloody mind. He's definitely lost his job. <laughs> oh, my God. That teeth! He's broken my front teeth! Now who needs the police? Now who needs the police, eh? Uh, if you want to rematch, just whistle. If you can. I just look like this. Where are they? <laughs> Is everything to your satisfaction, Hazel? Just as I thought. 21 degrees. An Olympic pool must be heated to a minimum of 25 to 28 degrees. And it'll be even colder tonight. Well, it'll just make them kick a bit harder, won't it? <laughs> Watch your splits, Madeline. You need a cleaner entry, Evie. I can still see ripples. Ah, yes, that is because the water is cold. Hazel, I've been thinking, while we pamper you this afternoon, the girls might like to go and do a bit of sightseeing. They must be sick of being stuck in a pool hours and hours. <laughs> out of the question. I couldn't possibly let them go out in Benidorm. Oh. God knows what they might pick up. No, no, I was thinking of Calpe or Altea. Nice little Spanish towns where they won't see any trouble. Well, anything to get them out of this wretched slum, but I shall need to accompany them at all times. Oh, nonsense. You stay here and relax. I have got a member of staff who's a very able chaperone, Mateo. See. Si. <laughs> Go and fetch Liam. I've got a job for him. They're very good, aren't they? My dearest Troy, I don't think I could bear to see your face when I tell you this. So I'm taking the coward's way out and writing it down. I've been a fool and can only beg that you will, will one day forgive me. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Hello, hello. Oh. I'm sorry. I just wanted to return this one to you. I'll have you know that note paper was laid ivory. It's almost one pound a sheet. Oh, heck. Oh, now please, just leave me alone. All right. Oh. I am sorry. Oh. Come down! Yes.
You're missing the synchronised swimming. Ah, oh, he's not bothered, bless him. I never had him down as a sporty type, to be honest, did you? Well, we can't all be blessed with an athlete's physique. <laughs> you do a lot of sporting, do you? Yes, we can often be found in the weightlifting suite of the Cheese Valley Gym and Sauna, can't we, darling? Oh, yes. Donald wipes the floor at the over-50s clean and jerk. And Jacqueline Snatch has to be seen to be believed. Oh, oh, oh. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Sit down, love. You'll do yourself a mischief. Why is everybody ignoring me? Am I invisible or something? Who said that? I got you. This is ridiculous. <laughs> There's got to be something we can do. Just a minute. Yeah. Ta-da! What was it Jean-Paul Sartre said? Hell is other people? Oh, I know. Good job it's just the two of us. Rack up. Next up, we have Michael Garvey with a solo street dance. Let's hear it for Michael. Yeah. All my honey's in the place. Grind, get low, get low, move side to side. Yeah. All my honeys in the place. Grind, get low, get low, move side to side. Yeah. All my honeys in the place. Grind, get low, get low, move side to side. All my honeys in the place. Grind, get low, get low, move side yeah. to side. Yeah. It's kicking off fit, it's kicking off fit, Savage. Joyce, Joyce, I need to no, please let me speak. Yeah, this is very you and me. It's not going to happen. What? You're a handsome man, and I am very flattered. But you're not the one for me. Okay. I know this is going to be very difficult, but you're going to have to put your passion for me to one side. See, I've already missed an opportunity to be with somebody that I care for very deeply. No, circumstances mean it's another chance. And at my age, that's something you can't pass up. I'm going to need some Dutch courage. I don't... Oh, sorry. What is it you wanted to say to me? Get low, get low, move side to side. With a very modern and novel routine. Next up, with a twist, we have Matteo Castellano and Noreen Maltby. You see, he thinks that you've asked for a bit of space and he's given it to you. So that's how much he loves you. <laughs> and will you please show how much you love me and win this competition so I don't have to pay out? I'm not dancing with you. Yes! Now, don't worry. Your dance partner should be along any minute now. Ooh.
know him too well. I think he likes him. Really? Well, when I say that, I mean he hasn't tried to strangle it yet. I'm a bit weird, isn't it? I thought he was your mate. No, he just answered an ad in the paper about his spare room. Well, you just gave it to the first person, didn't you? Genius. It's all going wrong today. Don't worry, son, I'll handle this. Where have you been? You said you were going off for a fag break. I did. Then I went for a swim. Oh! Leslie, relax. There's no person in charge. When the cat is away, the mice will play. I think it's about time the mice will put back in their cage. All right, Pet, just calm down. I'll get you another salad. Listen, get changed, right? And it's not the cat who's away, it's a new manager. If he sees you like this, He'll have your guts for goddess. What can he do? Every manager we have the same. They come here and they think they're very important, but he will be just another English asshole. I beg your pardon. It's all right, Penny. He wasn't talking about you. He was talking about the new manager. I am the new manager. I beg your pardon, love. Joyce Temple Savage, the new manager of the Solana. Well, if you're the new manager, uh, what are you doing here on holiday? You're supposed to start today. She's not on holiday, young one. She's been spying on us. Spy? I don't think so. When you spy, you look through a fence or over a wall. I've been here in the eye of the storm. Oh, c come on now. <laughs> you, you might be having a crap holiday, but you can't fault the weather. I want you three idiots and all the members of the staff on this list in the Hawaiian function room in 15 minutes. <laughs> Do you hear me? Pathetic. And believe me, after 25 years in tourism, I have seen the lot. I have seen staff paralytic in Portugal, stagnant swimming pools in Saloon, food poisoning in Falaraki. So in fairness, this isn't your worst holiday. I am not on holiday. Listen, Pet, I know things make it look bad, but we had no idea you were the new manager. We were told it was going to be a bloke. I think they were right. What did you just say? Why didn't you say anything? You, my friend, are standing on very thin ice. You, what's your name? He does not speak English. He doesn't speak English? His name's on his back. I wasn't asking you. ¿Qué le pasa a la bruja esta? Me da miedo. Can it con Jenny? What did he just say? He said he likes your hair. Oh. A transvestite waiter, a moronic caretaker, and a hotel worker in Benidorm who doesn't speak a word of English. Well, I've heard the lot now. Oh, well, I suppose it's a bit like uh, being the manageress of a holiday resort in Spain who doesn't speak Spanish. Watch it, you. I'm in charge here, and I do not. Repeat, do not tolerate any form of back chat. You, get in this line. Piss off. <gasps> That's Kenneth. He's not actually Solana stuff. I knew the reputation of this place before I took on the position. But nothing, nothing had prepared me for the undiluted incompetence I have witnessed here this morning. But luckily for you, I enjoy a challenge. And I'm going to turn this standing joke into the pride of Benidorm. Oh, my name is not Joyce Temple Savage. You said your name was Joyce Temple Savage. What? Outside. You said your name was Joyce Temple Savage. Now, now you're saying it's not Joyce Temple Savage. There's a time to talk, young one. There's a time to keep quiet. Now there's a time to keep quiet. Sorry, Dad. Dad. That explains a lot. And I assume you're the long lost cousin. Hey. I have no relations with these people whichsoever. Class dismissed. <coughs> Welcome to the Solana. You seem to be a little stressed, so if you need to relax, just let me know. I am very good with my hands. Get back to work. Mm -hmm.